And hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Tanner, and today we're going to be doing another Hot Wheels unboxing, which is the Roadster Bite. So I basically found this car today, uh, May 5th. He is the first car from the HW Roadster series. Oh my god! I just noticed something! So do you know that- So do, as you can see, Roadster Bot is from the HW Roadster series. He's the number one. And I just noticed that the Pagani Huraira that we unboxed two weeks ago is the second car. And another thing that I noticed is that the Roadster Bot is the 12th car from 250 of this year. But, the Pagani is the 13th car, look. Like, look, 12 for the Roadster Bite, 13 for the Pagani Horario. Yeah, that's basically all I wanted to say. So anyways, let's take a look at the details. So in the bottom says Roadster Bite. There's the vehicle inside, there's the artwork. 2022-2023 slash design. Hot Wheels logo in the top left corner. He's the 12th car out of the 250 from 2023. He's a check star. We'll be testing that out later. He's the first car out of the HW Roadster series, as I said. In the back says HW Roadsters 2023. He's the 12 car, 250 cars from this year, which I already said that. And yeah, there's not really much in the back, just some black and white stuff. But anyways, let's get to unboxing the Roadster Bite. So here is the Roadster Bite right out of the packaging. So, before we take a look at its details, if you're new to the channel, make sure to leave a like in this video, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit the bell so you won't miss any new notifications when Champion Racer Collection uploads. So now, let's take a look at the details. So in the front, there's the black splitter. On the right side, there's the more black with some exhaust pipes. I'm going to be pointing it with my pen if... Oh. The pen doesn't work. See, it doesn't work. So I guess I'm going to have to use my finger for this one. So as you can see, there's the number six there with more black. The exhaust pipes. Blue over here. In the back, there's nothing much. Same thing for the other side, but flipped. On the hood, there's the number six. There's this thing right here. There's one seat. There's a steering wheel inside. No canopy, though, because this car is a roadster, which means he doesn't have a roof. And, yeah, that's basically it. So now we're going to be comparing this car to a few others that I have here. First one is the Pagani Horairo, which we unboxed uh, last week. No, not last week, two weeks ago. I'll be leaving the link of the, the unboxing of this car in the description. Uh, they don't they have different rims these are like these spokes are bigger and they don't close all the way but these are a lot smaller and they do close all the way I think that the Pagani Horaira as you can see is lower than the Roadster bike and one car I wanted to compare the Roadster bike to which I did see in the store well I didn't see the car in the store but when I saw the Roadster bike in the store it immediately reminded me of Dach Jammin from Disney Pixar Cars on the Road Mainly because these two are low to the ground profile cars. And look, yeah, this car doesn't ro roll as smoothly as Dash Jammin. But it's okay. As you can see, the rims are spinning at 60 frames per second. And yeah, I think that's basically it. But as I said, we're going to be doing a test run with this car. So let's get right into it. Okay, I set up like a little 90 degree curve just to see if this car works on 90 degree curves. All right, so let's do it. Three, two, one. Oh wow, it works. Great. All right. Um, let's try that again. Okay, my apologies. I'm back. Okay, let's try that again. Yep, that works. Now I want to try the Pagani. Horaira. Oh God! 
Yeah, as you saw, the Pagani Harira, as he came out of the 90 degree curve, he kind of flew everywhere. I'm going to play a slow motion clip right there. Yeah, you saw the slow motion clip, so let's try this again. Oh wow, now this time he came off perfectly. Okay, let's try one more time. Yeah, he kind of went a little airborne, but he made it. Now, let's try... Now I want to try to see if Dash Jammin' works. Oh. Since these are high sidewalls right here, the back part of Dash Jammin' kind of gets stuck, but we'll try anyway. Yeah, Dash Jammin' doesn't really work. So I guess we're gonna try the... I'm sorry, what's your name again? Roadster bite again. Okay, so let's try Roadster bite. Okay, works. All right. Okay, I have another Hot Wheels I can try. Let's try. Actually, I'm gonna try three more. So I have here this black night shifter, this teal exotic, and a green chicane. So let's try these. Let's first try night shifter. All right, went a little airborne, but he made it. All right, chicane up next. All right, it worked. Last one up is Exotic, one of my favorite Hot Wheels. Mm, he kind of came off of the curve a little slowly. Okay, now let's try the five Hot Wheels. Here comes chicane. Night Shifter. The Pagani Horaira Roadster. Oh, he went airborne. We're gonna try him again, but here's Exotic. Pagani Horaira again. Oh, and he went airborne. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. One more time. Darn it, why does this car always go airborne? There we go. And lastly, Roadster Bite. Wow. Now I'm gonna play a few slow motion clips as you saw the Pagani Horaira did go airborne quite a few times because it even shows in the packaging that this car is not a track star in comparison with the roadster bite it is a track star and i think it also says in the bottom well it doesn't say in the bottom it has like a little logo like roadster and uh, roadster bite and exotic they kind of have like this loop logo like, there it is on Roadster Buy, and here it is on Exotic. It's, uh, it mainly, it's an indicator to let you guys know that Exotic and Roadster Bite are track stars, which means they can, they can work perfectly on the track, but not the Pagani Horaira Roadster, because as you saw, that time, those times actually, he did go airborne quite a few times. Oh, now he didn't go airborne. Let's try one more time. There we go, as you saw, he went airborne and took off one of the packages. So anyways, let's play a few uh, slow motion clips of when the Pagani Horaira Roadster went airborne. Yeah, so as you saw, the Pagani Horaira Roadster did go airborne quite a few times. But anyways, that's basically it for the review of Roadster Bite. So let's finish this video on a high note and let's launch this car one more time. So three, two, one. Yeah, this car works great on the tracks. If I had to say, 10 out of 10. Absolutely would recommend this car if you are part of the Hot Wheels Track Builder. Well, if you are a fan of the Hot Wheels Track Builder. Anyways, thank you so much for watching Champion Racer Collection. Signing out. See you guys in the next video.